Hey everyone, welcome back to Ruby Live. My name is Annika and I'm your host today. I'm a freelance graphic designer based out of Toronto, Canada, and I'm here with Adobe Live and celebrating APR Heritage Month all throughout this week. This is a bootcamp stream and I'm showcasing Adobe Illustrator today. We are learning all about integrating font and language support from Adobe Fonts in Adobe Illustrator. And I'm really excited because I'm here to showcase the South Asian language, which is actually the fourth most spoken first language in the world. And I didn't even know that until a few days ago. Well, shh, don't tell anyone. But if you are joining me on YouTube or on Behance, hey, do you in the chat? I, I have my eyes on both the chats. So if you have any questions, let me know if you've ever used any other language other than English or your native language in Illustrator or any other Adobe application, InDesign perhaps or Photoshop. And what's your experience been? If you have any questions, I'll be able to answer it to the best of my abilities. I want to say hi to everyone before we start. So hi, Oliver, Wade, Cody, Kriaziz, um, and Umukon. Hey, thanks for being here. All right, um, let's dive into it. Let's see what Hindi is. So Hindi, essentially, I want to start by saying that it's um, an Indo-Aryan language spoken mostly in the Hindi belt region. And with that, I mean the northern, central, eastern, and western parts of India. I wanted to put this information here just to give you a little bit background and history about the language. Um, the script that you use in Hindi is a Devanagari script and it's one of the two official languages of the government of India along with English. I feel like that is so commemorating of like the whole idea that a huge part of my country, my home country actually speaks this language and a lot of people don't actually know about it. So I'm super excited to be talking about it today and trying to find glyphs that I can use in Illustrator from the glyphs panel on the type menu. And um, yeah, let's let's dive into it. Let's see. Nimisha in the chat also joining us. Hey, Nimisha, thanks for being here. Um, it is also the official language in nine states and three union territories and an additional official language in three other states. So that's pretty cool. I feel like the fact that it is so widely spoken is um, proof enough that it should be available in most applications to write. There are various ways that you can use it. And the first thing is um, it's been like it's so widely spoken. Then the, the whole area marked here with red is actually where Hindi is spoken. So this is the Hindi belt, as they say, the northern, eastern, central and western part of the country. And this is where most of all, there, of course, there are different dialects of the language. But there is these are the most Hindi speaking regions, which I think is super cool. And Hindi is actually um, close to French, if you are a French speaker. So as French words have like genders and um, a table has a gender or a chair has a gender, that's the same case with Hindi. So for me, as a Hindi native speaker, it was easier for me to learn French. And I did not think as an English speaker that it was something weird. So I think that's like a good, good touch point there. Um, I want, or, or want to also highlight that Hindi lends a lot of characters and glyphs from Urdu, which is another um, mutually, it's like an, in, mutually intelligible with Urdu, which means a lot of glyphs and characters are similar in both the languages. Um, all right. It's also actually some fun facts around for you. Um, I want to say Hindi is a protected language in South Africa, which was so fascinating to learn about. All this information, by the way, over here on these screens are picked up from Wikipedia. So that's my source. Um, and we have um, some other information here as well, which is that it's the third official court language in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, which is so fascinating. All these facts are like, what are these trivia facts that I know about Hindi? So, um... It's super cool. I love that in chat, we have Frank, um, who is actually a French speaker, um, surprised to learn Hindi because he's actually speaking French. And we have Namisha in chat saying, looking forward to learn Hindi finally. And she actually used the Hindi keyboard. So that is pretty cool. Let's jump into etymology and see that it's actually trans like gotten its roots from Sanskrit, which is another language. So Sanskrit and Hindi both share the same script. If you are a Hindi speaker, you probably know this before. But if not, um, Hindi and Sanskrit share the same script called Devanagari. Love that. Umakon says, I did not know that about Abu Dhabi. Well, the more you know. Now you know. I'm glad you're here. Okay. So, Hindi is actually written in the Devanagari script. Like I mentioned, which is an Abu... Abu Gida. I, it's so hard to say this word. <laughs> I always stumble. And that's actually a library or like a pseudo-alphabet. 
which is generate to like create the phonetic sounds that you make with the hindi words so let's jump into some of the glyphs here and seeing how those look like have you ever seen hindi glyphs before i'm not too sure but we're going to dive into some of the basic sounds and let me show you the adobe original fonts library which was so helpful during this whole stream and even otherwise if you use french or maybe something else the adobe original fonts foundry here at fonts.adobe.com/foundry/adobe is so cool because i can actually find fonts here in all the languages all the asian languages there are some there are there is this help page which will help you set up your language i will give you a brief brief walk through of how to do this but the supported asian languages here are all these indic languages which are bengali gujarati hindi kannada and so on and so forth until telugu we have middle eastern which is arabic and hebrew and we have southeast asian which is thai sinhalese burmese khmer and lao um yeah so these are all the supported asian languages in um adobe fonts foundry which i really love and adore because i can use these fonts here so let's jump into their website and see what they have for us so you can see all the information about the or adobe original typefaces as well here and the adobe fonts and i'm going to go back in here and actually see if there's like a hindi so the first thing and one of the tips that i would like to give you is that look for the script name in um adobe fonts so i think i spelled that wrong yeah i did spell that wrong L look for the script name in um adobe fonts to find that but if not um it's right here this is the hindi font because i can see and i know that these are the characters but if you cannot find it with the script name you can actually go to the adobe fonts website here and then look go to all fonts and you can browse and filter your languages up here on the top navigation panel we have this system here which says all it says english which is by default but i want to see all the languages you can go in here and filter it out according to whatever language you want to highlight um we have all of this in here we have filipino finnish french german greek gujarati gurumukhi which is for punjabi the script and then we have hindi so i can filter it out and find fonts which support this language um all right so um yeah i know kodi has a link to this so kriyazis you will be able to find this link here in chat and you can find out more about on the faq page all right so these are some fonts i actually did not see this and i love that this is a variable font and before i go to um activate my font addiction <laughs> i am going to activate it and just keep it here just in case and i really like this but today we're actually going to go in here um this is the website i was talking about earlier so whenever you're activating any language fonts in adobe fonts you would want to activate a composer with that it helps you enable the glyphs that are present in any language other than what your keyboard is in right so i'm going to show you what my system looks like this is my system setting for my keyboard and i have various text input sources think of it as an on screen keyboard so if you're working on a windows device you can go into your windows settings and select an on screen keyboard for whatever language you're using or perhaps give your american or a uk based keyboard or european keyboard um the input sources to be taking as a transliteration or maybe the same glyphs that you want in any language but here i have all these keyboards here as my input sources if you're working on a mac go to your keyboard system settings go to keyboard and then change the text input sources to any and however many you want so i have indian abc which is like the basic canadian um us english devanagari qwerty and also hindi transliteration i have transliteration i feel like transliteration is such a cheat or a hack because if i don't know how to type something i can just transliterate it in english and it's going to do it for me in hindi by going through this page um over here um i want to see how you can install relevant language and font packs so i'm going to go back in here i just showcased how you can activate some fonts so you can go in here and click this guy and the toggle button is going to help you and activate it across all adobe apps so i think that's pretty cool and we have some here some um settings here that you would want to activate before you dive into it so let's jump into illustrator this link is in the chat in the live chat if you're watching and if you're watching on replay it's on youtube so make sure to look at that there but let's jump into here and show you how it's done i'm going to go to settings and go to type 
You can also press Command or Control K on your keyboard to get the preferences for Illustrator. And then I'm going to go to Type. So over here, we have this handy dandy little button or setting called Language Options. So think about whatever language you want to activate and what South Asian language or Asian language or um, let's go back here and show you what I'm talking about. So if you're doing any Indic languages, think about opening up, uh, checking the check mark show Indic options. If you're thinking about Middle Eastern, if you're thinking about Southeast Asian, think about um, check marking the South Asian options. So these are super cool. I The only thing that you have changed, if you go to your Illustrator file and if you've never used any of the Asian language before, Asian languages before, these might be unchecked. But depending on what language you actually want to use, you can go ahead and check one of these. And remember that at one point, only one of these can be active. So I'm going to click OK because Hindi is an Indic um, version and I Indic option and I want to go in here and show you some basic sounds. The next step actually after you show Indic options, which is going to enable these glyphs that are available within the font. I actually want to go to my character or my paragraph panel. So I have it right here. If you don't see this on your screen, you can go to window and then you can go to type and then you can see the character and the paragraph panel right here from your menu bar. I'm going to look at chat just to make sure I'm not missing any questions. I have Oliver in the chat saying you can never have too many fonts. That is so true. And Joshua um, agrees as well. Hey, Joshua, thanks for joining. And Tim in the chat. Love it. Thanks all for being here. All right. Um, let me know if you've ever used Hindi or French or anything in your design that's not your native language or if you've used another language that's not your native language. Maybe your native language is not English. And how was your experience? I would love to see and learn more from your experiences. I feel like at the end of the day, it's about celebrating creativity um, in all forms, shapes and sizes. So let me know how you how you celebrate creativity with languages in design. Um, all right. So you want to go to your paragraph panel and then you want to operate. Usually it is um, by default, it is Adobe single line composer or every line composer. For Asian scripts, you would want it to be single line or every line composer for Middle Eastern and South Asian single line com composers. So I've activated single line composer just because I'm demonstrating one single line and be finding and traffic signs today. So let's show you some of the basic Hindi sounds, which are the phonetics of the language. And then we can dive into the actual um, typing in Hindi, which is going to be which is going to be maybe a bumpy ride. We'll see. But we have traffic signs. Get the reference. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's dive into it. The basic letters. Well, so Hindi letters are usually pronounced with an a sound, like in the word about. So when you say about, every Hindi letter, like not every, but most of the Hindi basic letters are pronounced with the a sound. So n as in nut. So these are all these um references and verbal cues for you to understand how it actually sounds like um, and Hindi consonants are generally less airy and when I say that it is scuff as in k as in scuff so it's it's interesting to see how these two languages relate and I made this for the target audience that we have here on Adobe Live but also a very universal audience so I wanted to be accessible and approachable to every one of you watching so I decided to like make these um, get these references and then per the per sound as in spunk. So these are some words that may be familiar to you. And I feel like it is such a great reference to actually like showcase the fact that these are some Hindi sounds which are actually available in your language as well. So I feel like that's that's pretty cool. Kunal in the YouTube chat says, Do you know Hindi? Yeah, I do know Hindi. When you see AA, that's a different sound than the A's from above. So AA as in father so this is a sound as in father so these are some of the languages and how these are some of the phonetics of the language so here we have some consonants and i see jack watson in the chat hey jack thanks for being here i'm so glad that you could make it today i'm doing language support in illustrator so i'm really excited because we've never done something like this and i love to showcase like asian languages um and we're celebrating aapi heritage week so it's pretty cool all right, um, so these are some of the basic consonants of Hindi and these are the ABCs of Hindi. So um, this is essentially the transliteration or teaching you how to write with a Hindi keyboard with an English. So I have this keyboard, which is essentially an English keyboard. Don't forget that it's the generation one Apple keyboard, but hey, um, 
what are you going to do about it but we have k k g g which is essentially the a b c d of hindi and you can write i am actually going to open a text box here and select my font to be the font that hindi has so that's adobe devnagari and then i'm going to select that and write change my keyboard to be hindi and then i can go in here and press k a k which is this right that's how you say it these are the phonetics right so this is k and i just pressed k on my keyboard and you can see it on the top right over here whatever keystroke i'm pressing so k is or k is k which is the a or a b c a of hindi i hope that makes sense um i'm trying my best over here all right and then if i want to make it the next which is b or k in hindi which is k h oh wait did i do that wrong oh yeah <laughs> you press shift and you press k and that becomes k which is the k sound right and then we bring in the third consonant which is c in english but g in hindi i would say g which is essentially the third so i feel like this is super cool and like so fascinating because i had personally never used hindi in adobe illustrator i'd only used it one time but not so much in depth and i was using transliteration but i got to type it in hindi and it was so fascinating for me again the g sound is actually derived from g which is c or c in hindi i would say shift g that would bring up the fourth syllable so as you can see these are the same that i'm making it making from the right right so i hope that makes sense let me know if you have any questions these are just the abc's of hindi All right so this is basically what we learned when um, we learned hindi growing up it was so cool to have this curriculum i basically forgot some of these consonants <laughs> um remember how i was talking about borrowed characters in hindi um these are some of the borrowed characters and we have this sound which is actually borrowed from urdu and persian so these are the sounds which actually given that epiglottis sound um which also you may have learned from french so i feel like some of these sounds are also those sounds right okay yeah all right i'm not going to go into the phonetics of it let me know if again if you have any questions now comes the vowels we already looked at the consonants but these were some of the examples we actually looked at earlier so i want to make a text box again and show you the glyphs panel because i feel like the glyphs panel is so handy and for something like this it is your best friend so you can activate or showcase the glyphs panel from the type menu up top and then go to glyphs right so this is the glyphs panel wow that's a lot of glyphs in here and um these are all the adobe original devnagari script so if you can't see it it's too tiny you can go in here to this mountain button um i always call it the mountain button but it's actually to scale it up so you can actually see the glyphs more closely these are all the glyphs in this entire font which is the adobe devnagari font and i love it general kenobi in the chat hello there is asking is it possible to learn this power why yes of course thank you for asking um nimisha in the chat says any pointers to resource for what to type on keyboard to get these alphabets okay i actually don't have any pointers for you i all i always feel like i am someone who learns by like just diving into it so like i just like typed a uh, and this came up and i did not know what to do so i think i would say do hit and trial methods but at pressing k on k on your keyboard wow get confusing myself with hindi and english pressing k on your keyboard will actually help you get the basic abc's and then if you press shift and press that so maybe you're writing an upper case character it would give you the second sound right and if you press option and shift or something like that that would give you some other options as well so option shift with an i would give you a a vowel sound which is an e but if you just press i on your keyboard it would give you this right so i hope that um makes sense so just combinations of shift and vowel sounds and shift and consonant sounds will give you all the alphabets but you would have to practice it i don't have any resources that i can point you to i'm sorry about that but there are all these letters so if i'm pressing a on my keyboard and this is what comes up i press b on my keyboard and this is what comes up c d e f g h i j k l so these are some of the consonants that are being generated along with the vowel sounds that we see in hindi 
right so these were all by like hit and trial so i would say just dive in just you shift um with the options like you're making up a case characters but not really because you're essentially making different consonants in hindi um yeah uh uma is enjoying the mountain button uh reference so i love it <laughs> All right, so we have this glyph panel, which is my friend. I want to type in a, uh, which is the a uh sound, like we saw in um, not or the father, the a uh sound in father over here, which is also a vowel in Hindi. I have the e sound, or and in Hindi we say it like the <laughs> also the e sound, but it's like the bigger. E. I <laughs> I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then we have some of these o sounds the a sound the o sound the a sound so these are some of the phonetics that are existing with the vowels we have in hindi and you can get these from the glyphs panel so just in case since i couldn't type the a uh, i can actually go in here and double click this guy and it's going to show me the option or the glyph character in the glyphs panel i can go in here and click this guy double click it and here is the a uh, we wanted so essentially you can if you have a text box with any information or anything that you have in here you can go into the glyphs panel if you have it open have the font selected and double click into the glyph that you actually want and this is what is generated hit escape key and now you have everything else so this is the a sound that we just talked about the a sound i'm sorry sorry about that yeah okay so um let's give you some combinations now now that you know the vowels and the consonants which is which it is impossible to learn the basics so quickly um until you use like a different learning tool or like in class in class learning method um the idea is to use both of these together so since i have the text k and i want to bring the a sound to it which is the vowel i can just type k and a on my keyboard to get the ka sound which is the consonant plus the vowel So these are some of the basics that I think are necessary to create something in Hindi or even learn. These are some of the basic things, right? You learn how to use the vowels, you learn how to use the consonants, and then you make words out of it. So these are all the combinations that you can create. There may be more depending on what you're doing, but these are some of the basic ones that's going to help you in everything. Feel free to take a screenshot of this in case you are um learning or go back and watch the replay. and learn we are 22 minutes in um i love that the chat is active so if you have any questions if you want me to repeat anything that i have done today because this is super quick we only have about 55 minutes here during the live stream feel free to reach out to me i have my instagram um i think somewhere here so um make sure to hit me up with a message all right now here comes the fun part since now we are 22 minutes in why i realized that hindi is so cool but i also want to make it accessible to everyone so i brought up this um really cool poster for like electric pressure and these are both english and hindi signs so i wanted to make something in english and hindi which is super cool so let's go ahead and bring the text box up and write it in english first so i'm going to change my keyboard to um english first and type in my words right Um, let's actually pick up a cool font here. I think Basic Sans is active. I'm not too sure. And you guys would actually be proud of me. The ones who joined me on day ca- day one bootcamp actually deactivated a few fonts. So I'm just saying, <laughs> I can deactivate some fonts. All right. So I have this in here. I think I want to change the kerning a little bit. I just chose a very Basic Sans sort of font just because this is a road sign or like um. wayfinding or signage and this the legibility on this needs to be the most legible so finding just the most basic um we may take we may make some design considerations here thinking about how it's being laid out on the paper and the sign itself so of course i'm going to put this character panel away for a little bit and bring up the glyphs panel again where's the glyphs panel here we go All right, and since we have English selected, it's only showing me the consonants with English sounds, and also whatever glyphs there are available in the font that I lost shows. So I love it. Um, Oliver says you did what? <laughs> I deactivated some fonts, Oliver. Um, I'll tell you more about it. <laughs> so anyway, okay, we have this, and now I'm gonna make a copy of it and say electric pressure if I can spell this right, and I'm gonna bring this here. um bring it to the side of this badly drawn skull uh 
and then go back in here. I think I want to make it smaller. So I'm going to go in here and make it a little bit smaller. And then I can press my eyedropper tool and bring it up here. I love that eyedropper. You can actually like, it always blows my mind every single day. I feel like the one takeaway that you guys have from these uh, bootcamp streams this week is that history is so fun. And I just love learning about it. And I think you guys enjoy it too. So, um, first of all, history is super fun. And also, the eyedropper tool is your best friend. <laughs> love it. Um, Oliver uh, finding it hard to find out that I have deleted fonts. So, yeah. I was like, let's do something fun today. It's a new day. You can. The world is your oyster, right? Um, all right. So, I think we are here um, almost at the alignment um, options we're gonna make something i'm gonna align this as well actually let's make this the key object and then i'm gonna align it to the center all right and now comes the fun part where i actually write this in hindi so danger in hindi is khatra um <laughs> and i'm gonna write this in hindi now so let me change the font to adobe devnagri um which is this right over here and I'm maybe going to select bold option. And wow, this is not a sans serif, but it's a serif. But now I'm going to bring this up. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to bring this up and write, change my keyboard again to Hindi. So I'm going to do that to Devnagri, which is the Hindi font. And then I'm going to say Khatra. And I'm actually testing it out and seeing. So I see that the kerning here is a little bit messed up. I can go into my character panel in here and change the kerning. I want to change it to zero and see what that does. Oh, wait. Why is it not doing anything? Oh my God, my keyboard. All right, I think this is good. There we go, we fixed it. All right. So this is um, the Hindi word for danger. And I feel like the glyphs are so cool. Um, I love doing this. I love doing this. Maybe I can do this for a living. <laughs> now, wait, General Kenobi in the chat says, Comic Sans ought to be enough for anyone. This, this is where the fun begins. Yeah, there we go. All right. So this is exactly what this is. Now, of course, the font is different. So it looks a little bit different. I'm going to put the glyphs panel on the center at the bottom just because I want to see my canvas completely. And I want to copy this bit up, uh, make a copy, hold shift and option and drag. And maybe I want to size it down. Oh my God, no, didn't want to do that. <laughs> maybe I want to size it down, pressing shift and option, size it down to the center. And now it says electric pressure is this and it's in volts. So I want to write this now. Um, Bijli ka dabav essentially means electric pressure. So let's actually go ahead and type that. Um, okay. That is cool. And then since, okay. So this is a great example. Um, think, look at this area over here on my screen where I'm pressing the keystrokes. Okay, I'm going to type this again. So Bijli would be B as the consonant and then I as the vowel. So B. J would be J as the consonant. And then I'll press I L on the keyboard and I for the wall to make the word itself. Now, if I just press I, it's going to create the same wall that, that we first saw. But I essentially want to make a different, the way that you say it, it's, it's more emphasized on the last last part of the word, which is Bidgley and not Bidgley. Um, <laughs> this is so fascinating. Um, but if you press Shift I on your keyboard, you will get the other wall, right? Let me jump back to the walls to explain this better. I have the walls right here. I'm so fascinated by the way that I'm explaining this in English because I've never done this before um, in English. So this is like super fun for me. I have I, the I sounds both are um, these and this is how it's different when it comes to walls and applying it with consonants. So if you apply it with consonants like this, this is how it looks like. This is the first one, which is the smaller one. And this is the bigger wall here. All right. And then I'm going to type, um, we have this in here. I'm going to type K-A, which is the next word. And then D-A, D-A, V, which is this, exactly. Oh, we didn't want, we didn't want the above because this is not as in um, a sound, not as in father, but this is a, a sound as in scuff, right? So I'm going to go in here and bring this out here. And then I can just write in numbers as well. 
So I love it. Okay, I am going to go in here and write some numbers. I'm just pressing the same numbers on my keyboard. Don't ask me how these are written. I cannot tell you how this is written. Numbers are not my strong suit in any, well, Hindi. Okay, and then you want to write volts in Hindi. And this is a transliteration here. So this is also volts and this is exactly how you say it. But it's a little bit different. There's some fun glyphs in here. There's some walls in here. I love that Nimisha in chat is here to support. She's saying you're rocking the explanation. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hope that make makes sense to you. Um, I'm glad to hear that it actually makes sense to you. So I'm going to go in here and actually go in here and press V on my keyboard and then O because O is the ball that we're using. And then it looks a little different, but how do I fix that? The simple and the easiest way to fix that would be using the glyphs panel. And this is where that comes handy. So I'm going to press the A um, a key on my keyboard and then I'm going to select this guy or maybe I'll just keep my cursor here and I'm going to go into my glyphs, glyphs panel and find the wall that looks like this. This also generates the O sound but in a different way because you are actually using it in terms of these consonants which are, which are too many. The only, the phonetic way to say it would be helpful when you have something like this and it's this is what it converts to when you make it a word. So let me go ahead and find um, these in here. Okay. Wow. These are so many glyphs. I love these combinations. Okay. Let's go back in here. I would, I actually don't know if you can actually see how many combinations there are, but let's go ahead. Okay. So these are some, we're almost there. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Um, it's so fun. This is called a Chandra Bindu and it gives the nasally sound in some words. The bindu or the dot here on the glyph on top gives you some nasally sounds as well. So it's like just so fascinating um, that all of these is. Okay, so here we go. Here's the here's the thing that we wanted, but not exactly in this form. So let's see if we can actually find it. Where is it? I cannot seem to find it here. Let's see. Okay, why don't we leave this here for a second and we'll come back to it. Um, it's okay, it's okay. We can find we can find more. We'll leave it as O right now and then go to L. And then since I want T here. Um, T? Wow. <laughs> T? <laughs> I'm forgetting how to write the T. Wait, hold on. Okay. You press option and option and some of the consonants also give you the T, right? So if I press T on my keyboard, it's giving me T, which is not the sound that I want. It is above the Chandra Bindu. Go slow. Oh, thank you. I didn't even notice that. Thanks, Nimisha. I appreciate you. All right, let's go back. It's above the Chandra Bindu. I need to go slow. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh. Here we go. There we go. Nimisha to the rescue. Love live chat. Thank you so much. Here we go. That's the glyph that we wanted. And that's actually the wall sound that we wanted, which gives us volts. So the O sound here gives you the sound, right? So I'm going to go in here with the T sound and which is actually T on my keyboard. So you can either press the normal T. You can either press shift T. So I'm going to actually bring this in here and show you what the three different things are. So if I press T on my keyboard, this is what I get. If I press shift T on my keyboard, this is the glyph that I get, which is th, um, as in Thames. If I get option T, I get um, truck, right? The T sound in the truck. So these are three options that you can create with consonants and holding shift and clicking that consonant itself on the keyboard. So I love that. Um, these are super cool because I had actually forgotten how to write the T sound as in truck. So I'm going to press option T and get it here. And then the S sound. Now you might be wondering, the L looks a little bit different or the L sound looks a little bit different. Let me remove this here. And then I'm going to go in here to, again to my glyphs panel. Um, like I said, glyphs panel is your best friend. The L is over here. These are the two variations. This is actually so fancy. But I'm going to go in here. Oh, wait. I'm going to go in here and find the half half value of it because the sound is so small. Volts, you don't actually emphasize more on the L sound in the word volts itself. That's why it's like a smaller sound and that's how you denote it. So I'm going to find it here really quickly. Now, Xin, um, 
Khandari in the chat. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. All right. So I am going to go in here. I love that the chat is enjoying the stream and Hamter boy. Hello on YouTube. Love it. Okay. I was actually thinking about whether how to make this accessible. So I love that you guys can actually understand some of this. Let me know again if you have any questions. We are 34 minutes in and if you are just joining in um i'm really struggling hard finding these walls in the glyphs panel because it is so vast and um there's just so many in here but i'm going to find it okay resilience perseverance persevere to find your glyph you can also go in here and change it to show half forms and this is a plot i wanted you to see that you can actually do this from the glyphs panel so you can either go see the entire font waste your time and not do it efficiently but you can go in here and see fractions you can go in here and see half forms of the alphabets or the consonants that we have so i'm here in the half form panel and now finding the adha l or the small l would be easier and you can just double click it hey we did it we did it guys we did it okay i love this i actually love this okay and then we have these two in here i'm going to group it and then i'm going to center it out to this guy and we already have everything ready i love it I love it. Okay, let me get the glyphs panel out of the way and show you how it looks. So this is our original banner or sign that we had, and this is what we created in ten minutes. And you would think that this would be so difficult. I've seen people going to Wikipedia or writing this in the Google Translate option and then copy pasting it or taking screenshots and then converting it to vectors. But with this stream, watch it as many times as you want. You can go in here and write in Hindi. So I really love that. I love that you don't have to do this anymore. you have to do um this anymore like going and finding hacks for it so yeah all right i'm going to send this out to the page as well oh wait i did not select something <laughs> okay i'm just aligning this because i just can't see it not aligned all right um and then i maybe i want to bring it a little bit to the bottom all right so we have our first thing ready to go Let's go ahead and look at some more examples which might be more relevant to you and you may have seen those in if you're in somewhere in the US you might have seen some road signs some of these are universal but some of these are not so there are some one some road signs here intersection ahead cross road ahead sharp curve to right or winding road all of these are used in the US actually I was read for these Wade Acuff is a brilliant illustrator who also an Adobe Live host So thank you Wade um and uh, here's here's like a quick walk through of some of these we have these signs which may be familiar to you we're going to create something similar in hindi which might have you might have seen in india if you've ever visited so yeah let me know if you have ever seen any of these signs okay what is this little guy in here what is this this little guy doing in here all right let's see what are you doing in here okay here we go um love it Selena in the chat saying how long have you been live? I've actually been live for 37 minutes, but if you miss this, you can watch this on replay anytime. Right after we stream, the stream ends, you'll be able to watch this live. All right. And now here's here's another one which says restricted entry. I found this. This is not an official sign, but I found this online while I was doing some research and um I thought it was super fun. I'm going to copy this little um text panel just in case just so that i don't have to write it again but we're going to bring this here and maybe i'll get the english version as well so i'll get um so so i'm using the same fonts and there's consistency i'll get this guy in here and write restricted entry now i have my hindi font activated oh how do i fix that well go to your function key on your keyboard if you're working on a mac device or go to your keyboard input sources and then you can change the language that you're actually typing in So you can press the key T on your keyboard and then click to make a text area, and then you write restricted entry, and it's back again in the language that you want it to be, right? So that's how some of the basic, um, basic things here work. And I love that I can actually showcase this live. Let's see if I can capitalize it. I could actually capitalize it from the character panel, but let's just keep it simple because there's a lot to there's a lot going on today. So I'm gonna keep it simple with the options that I show. Okay, and there's some illustration here. And now this is the Hindi version of um restricted entry. This you may be wondering, wow, that's a mouthful. That's a lot of words. But there are some things when it comes to Indic options and translation that some things are lost with Google Translate and native speakers may be able to tell that they're not actually right 
and this is um how you make like you have to make a whole sentence to explain that this you are not allowed to enter this area right so this essentially transliterates to you cannot and um um okay <laughs> i'm transliterating live without permission if you transliterated it would be wrong in english so if i transliterated it says without permission entering is prohibited entry is prohibited right that's not a grammatically right sentence and that just means restricted entry to say that in hindi you have to write all these words so let's go ahead and write it okay so it says b which is um again i mixed up my keyboard so i'm going to undo that press my function key get my hindi keyboard again repet- repetition is key this is how you will remember how and how this works and what keys to use okay and then the er sound um i'm keeping it as is for now and i can fix it um once i go to my glyphs panel i'm going to change this sound here because this is obviously not the er sound that we wanted um and then we have here k and then the a sound which is e on your keyboard um nimisha in the chat says thanks got to go we'll catch up on the replay thank you love it selena says that the same in persian oh that is cool yeah because hindi is actually lend lend some characters from persian and urdu so i would imagine that some of the characters are actually similar so i'm going to say um these as well i'm going to leave the er sound here and then i'm going to press j on my keyboard with the vowels which is consonant and vowel so that's how you make the phonetics you put consonant first j a n a which would transliterate to jana which is the a sound in father so i hope that makes sense um similar with thai it doesn't translate well to english or dutch yeah exactly right that's also with french um i'm all already transliterating now and then i want to say sakt mana hai okay <laughs> let's bring this here this is getting such a long sentence this is probably the longest sentence i'm going to make today and then the a sound which is this and this is a full stop i love it and then i'm going to actually bring this down just like so so i can show you how this looks and now i want to replace these with the a er sound that we see here so i am going to go in here and go to my um is there a walls thing here no there isn't is there oh here we go the a er sound right bina anumati ke andar is what we write enter inside andar is inside um without permission inside enter is restricted <laughs> is prohibited that's what it says are in in the youtube chat thanks so much for being here and then the no sound is actually a half form so i am going to go in here and find the half form which is right here bina anumati ke andar jana sakt and the kh sound here is also which is um b actually in english k k g g um the b sound is actually here as well so let me go in here and find that okay can i see it i cannot see it in here where is it oh this is it mm it should be somewhere here close by where are you friend um <laughs> I cannot find it in here. Can you guys see this glyphs in glyph in here? I cannot. Nimisha has already left the chat, so Uma Khan, you might have to help me. <laughs> oh, here we go. Um, and that's that's the whole sentence for you. And now I want to change the kerning a little bit, so I can go to my properties panel and change maybe change the leading actually, not the kerning. I'm gonna go in here. Um, want to keep it up to like sixty one. 60 yeah 62 63 is good and then i want to center it out so i'm going to make a paragraph style and i'm going to make this um an area and then we have this in here and i'm going to center it out just like so okay and we have some of this in here and i love that we have this i did make um something earlier so i'm going to go ahead and copy that in here just so that i can not um i can not like i won't be wasting time just to showcase how this is done You already know how to use the pen tool, so I'm sure you can do that. And if you know how to use the perspective grid tool, if you want joined um yesterday, you might be knowing how to create something like this as well. So yeah, that is our second sign. I feel like these are super cool and coming together so well. But um, let's jump into some really cool signs here. Um, I made this before. 
but we have um this as the no parking symbol which is super cool so i love it i love it okay so i'm going to press command y sorry to showcase the outline view and show you how this looks this is how i have laid it out and this is how it looks right i'm going to press command y again just to show you how um i'm going to lay things up so with no parking there's usually a p and like a no entry symbol but there's also another symbol that we have um in some hindi signs that i see is like a car with a no parking sign up there so let's actually create that use the basic tools in illustrator and create that in here so i'm going to bring it up and i'm going to go in here use my direct selection so some some fun shapes for you as well for those of you watching at home i'm going to press l on my keyboard and do this really really quickly because we are um only about 12 minutes left in the stream again if you have any questions let me know this has been super fun i love this i love the language support that we have in illustrator honestly this is like such a game changer umakon saying always on stream yeah but we fix it said hey okay and then i can use another basic shape maybe to like um create a create a wheel in here so i'm going to press a on my keyboard again and then get this guy and send it behind and then i'm going to copy it right over here um very basic um that looks so funny that looks like a lego <laughs> sort of a thing and then i'm going to go in here and um bring this in here like so pressing a on my keyboard i can actually press a little bit further maybe like shift left arrow key and then press the same on shift right arrow key bring this in here pressing a on my keyboard again for the direct selection i can bring this up like so and maybe i want to make it a little bit smaller because the scar doesn't look like a car right now all right yeah that's cool and then i can make a copy of it or maybe use offset path for something like this but for today i'm just going to make a copy of it like this um i actually don't i think i should make an offset path so select your shape go to object path and offset path in here and maybe make it minus 10 because you want to go inside of the shape and then click okay and then get the other color yeah now it's looking nice I want to zoom in a little bit because I feel like this is not aligned perfectly. All right, yeah, I think this is this is looking cool, right? Okay, and then I'm gonna bring it up in here. Oh, those are some big tires. Um, <laughs> let's actually make these smaller and make it proportionally right. And we have in here our car shape, which is essentially oh, missed the missed the thing. Essentially, the car shape that we want for the no parking sign, and I can press now L on my keyboard. Super easy. I can make um a no entry symbol, which is essentially just a stroke. I can increase my stroke size from my properties panel right here. Make it smaller, perhaps, and I can use my pen tool and make like a line here, which is um here as well. So we have this ready to go. I am gonna use my direct selection tool again to align this inside the shape. and then i can go ahead and select both and group it so this is my no entry sign that i created in less than 5 minutes so i love that we can do that so simply in illustrator all right this is our no entry sign so maybe i can make a copy of it and put it on top just because we have probably probably another sign that we want to write okay and this is our no parking sign i feel like this is too big for this space though so i can bring it down just like so and yeah this is some some cool um traffic signs or some wayfinding signs that you can create i can go in here and find this as well so let's bring it here and this says in case of fire now i'm not really sure what keyboard i have but over here on the top i can see that it has a hindi glyph so i can just write in case of fire and that translates to aag lagne par in hindi which is a or the a sound which i cannot create with this um but i will with the glyphs panel so let me go in here to the glyphs panel again go to my entire font um oh what font is this that is so weird why is it not showing me hindi fonts oh here we go oh wait no <laughs> that really scroll down to the bottom of the page all right let's go back where are we where are we okay here we are and then we have this right here So I am gonna go in here and select this font, um, and press a sound, which is somewhere in here. Okay, it's somewhere. Okay, here we go. Um, that is fire, and then I'm gonna go in here and write the rest of it. 
um, this is like a mental gymnastic because like you're making sure that you actually say the right things at all times. And I love that we can actually do this with um, Illustrator. Love to see it. Okay, and this is like don't use lift in case of fire, right? So um, that actually translates to the same in Hindi, and I'm gonna use that as well. So I'm gonna say, um, okay. So since we have done um, all of this, and there are some words that Hindi actually borrows from English as well. So let's use transliteration because maybe you are not a native speaker and you don't know how to type this. Let's make it more accessible and make it a transliteration. So you can go to your keyboards and go to your Hindi transliteration. And if you've learned your consonants and vowels, you can actually do this with the transliteration panel as well. So I can just write lift, which is what they say in Hindi, and these options pop up on for me for accessibility. And I can press one, two, three, four, five, and six. um as possible options but i'm going to press one on my keyboard and that's what populates i don't have to type everything from my keyboard which i think is again super cool and since you know that the ka sound or the ka sound brings up this glyph which is like a combined combination of the consonant and the vowel you can bring up this as well using combination so i feel like that super cool um yeah let me know your thoughts and there you go do not use lift in case of fire i mean this just says do not use lift all right cool um we have about 5 minutes to go so i want to do this super quickly i'm going to make one more and just write it in um transliteration for you really quickly let me know again if you have any questions after the stream i'm happy to talk about it because this i think is i love doing this Okay, and then I can just change this font. Let me go ahead, change it to my English version here, and just say use the stairs. And I can go in here again and say do not use the elevator or the lift, as some people like to say it. Okay, so do not use elevator or whatever, whatever it says, right? So I'm gonna go in here, bring it smaller, make it smaller, and here we go. Voila. with today's streams i love that we got to cover so much i had a lot of examples made up for you as well but i love that you could join me here today i have a few minutes i'm going to give you a quick recap of what we did we talked about some adobe original fonts from the adobe foundry um font foundry and then we went through this faq page which is a helpex adobe page where you can set up illustrator to use asian languages set up composers activate that and activate all the asian fonts we talked about some history which was super cool i loved explaining and talking about the hindi belt and how it is the fourth most spoken first language in um all over the world after mandarin spanish and english so i love that you could join me wade in the chat saying hi thank you wade for your references for the traffic signs here in the us So I was able to show the differentiation between these traffic signs and the Hindi signs. Some of these signs are here, but I have some of these here as well, which I actually made earlier. So here are some signs that you can see. These are some push and pull signs. We have some this way, please wear your helmet. We have some of these signs, which I think have such a great shape language. Um, I love that this is like emergency exit. So these signs and these all these things are actually the same in all the languages. But it's so fun to actually see these in real life and consideration with glyphs in a different language. But with that said, I want to say thank you to everyone um, here today joining me for day three of the AAPR Heritage Week Bootcamp. I will be back tomorrow with another amazing project called. Um, making playing card decks i'm making playing cards tomorrow inspired by the polynesian cultures so come back tomorrow same time same place same adobe live youtube channel with me your host anika here i am signing off for you and you can watch the replay anytime you want so subscribe to our youtube it's in the bio subscribe oh my man description all right thanks live folks and thanks replay folks i love you all stay safe stay creative and i'll see you next time bye for now
Mm-hmm.